Hello everybody, this is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo. Today we're going to make some really fun boho style earrings. I've done several videos mentioning this telephone wire and I did a blog a long time ago on my Tapping Flamingo blog, which I haven't been over there for quite some time. I probably need to, to do some blogging. But anyway, this telephone wire, I just love it. And it actually came from uh, the Kennedy Space Center. Hang on a second. All right, I don't know if you heard the cha-ching in the background. I forgot to mute my phone and had an order come in. Anyway, <laughs> back to the telephone wire. Um, I have had this for a long, long time. My dad, he was a NASA engineer um, back during the Apollo era. And when he was at work one day, they were pulling out all the phone uh, lines and updating everything and they had all this beautiful colorful um, wire and uh, they were throwing it away and my dad knowing that his girls like to craft and make jewelry he asked if uh, what they were going to do with it and they said they were just going to trash it. So he wondered if he could take any of it. And they said, take as much as you want. And he did. And over the years, we've made quite a few things. Last <laughs> decade, <laughs> anyway, the last long time, I really haven't done anything with it. But the other day, I was going through some of my stuff. And I thought, you know, it's so pretty. I need to do something with it. I do have a video coming up um, hmm, I'm thinking it's sometime in October where I made um, some steampunk jewelry with this. But today, I want to make some boho earrings. I'm not really for sure which color I want. This one's green and white. This one's blue and white. Actually, green and light green, and then you got blue and light blue, and then we got brown I might want to use this blue, this white with the light blue. We have reds. And I might want to use this green. I'm not for sure. So I'm going to set these aside. I do know that I want to use these beads. I found these when I was going through some stuff. And I love the different beads on here. So I will be going through there, coming up with something. Let's see. I don't know. Maybe the green. We'll see. Let me set those aside. Um, I also want to use these flowers. I have a couple of them. And I want to put uh, maybe a gold pearl in there so it's hanging down. Uh, when I was testing this out to see how far down the flower goes. It goes down too far. I want that pearl to stick out. So I'm going to need to find a couple of other uh, beads to stick on the top there so this will sit more like this. Um, I really like these beads. I think they're a mother of pearl or some type of shell. And I thought I would use these little daggers. I do have some paper beads I'm thinking about putting in with that. And um, since we've got the flower theme going, I might use these. Uh, I do want to use on the top of this flower um, a bead cap on top of there. And let's see, I might use a couple of these silver beads. And what else? Oh, I'm going to need some wire, but I am going to mix my metals. I'm going to be using gold, tone, silver, and then the antique brass. Um, and these are kind of coppery. I thought they were brass, but now when I stick them next to this, they look more copper, so may, I, maybe I'll, I might look, use copper instead. Let me see if I have any copper wire. So I do have some copper wire. It's kind of shiny, but it will darken a little bit as time goes on, and I'll want that to happen. 
I know you can actually do a process to darken it, but I don't know. Well, but then again, these are brass. I don't know. I'm going to have to think about what metals I'm going to use here, but um, silver will be for sure because I'm going to use these silver head pens. Anyway, let me take all this apart and start designing to try to figure out what I'm going to do. So I decided I was going to use the white with the blue little stripes on it. And I want this to be very, very boho. So I'm going to do a very messy wrap on this. And I'm going to start out. And, and this is kind of how my sisters and I used to do some stuff all the time. Um, but I'm just going to wrap this around where it's just all over the place not tight, kind of loose. And pretty much tuck that in. And then I'm going to make, whoops. Well, let me fix that a little bit. Let's see. I want a bigger loop than that. One thing about this phone wire, it does slip easily. But once you get it where you want it, it won't slip as much. Okay, I wanted this big. <laughs> I didn't realize it slipped that much. Hang on a sec. All right, I got it all fixed how I wanted it. Now I am going to make another loop at the bottom here, like so, and then I just want to wrap some more. So I'm going to have all this basically bird's nest looking wrapping mess in the middle. And then I'm going to make some dangles to hang on one end. Let's see, I need to look at a place where I can tuck that in. I'll clip that and then just kind of feed that in there and tuck it under all that mess. So I went ahead and I made two of them. And remember, you are not a machine, so they're going to be slightly different because they are handmade. But now that I got the forms all ready, I'm going to hang ear wires on one end and then dangles on the other. So we got to figure out the dangles. I was playing around a little bit with, um, with this flower and I put two beads on top of the, the big bead there. And this hangs exactly how I want it. And then I just put a little gold uh, leaf looking bead cap at the top. So we have this, and I'm just going to use the same technique I use when making an earring to make this dangle. Bend it, cut it, loop it. <laughs> Let's see. And just roll it like that to do your loop. And so we have that much done. And I want to hang this at the bottom of something. So now I've got to figure out what type of wire I want to use. I could use gold, silver, copper, brass. That is the question. So far, this is what I have. I took the paper beads. I flanked them with some silver tone little, um, I don't know, textured type beads and hung the flowers on the bottom. So far right now, in addition to the telephone wire, we have silver tone metal and then we have um, gold tone metal. So let's see uh, what to do next. I know I wanted to use these glass beads, so I'm going to dig through here and try to come up with something to hang 
uh, on either side a series of beads and they're probably not going to match. It's probably going to be a little bit of a mismatch type piece. Well, I've got them all done. I decided just to stop right here. I wasn't going to put these on there and these and all of these, but when I've got all these put together, I'm like, oh, I love the way these dangle. And so I am just going to stop right there. Look at that. Aren't those fun? So what I did, I dug through these beads, and there were not very many beads that were the same. Almost all of them are different. So I just randomly pick some beads and thread them on um, some head pins there and uh, hung them on to the component that I made. And we have uh, some pretty good size boho earrings. And this is what they look like on. Aren't they fun? And they're not really heavy at all. Leave a comment and let me know what you think of these earrings and the boho style. Boho, in particular beach boho, is probably my favorite style to wear. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. Subscribe to my channel. And mostly, I hope y'all have a fantastically wonderful day. This is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo signing out for now. Bye-bye.